Hello, you are welcome to today's daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living by Prophet Daniel Ejako Afari. Today is Tuesday, the 24th of October, 2023, and the theme for the day is Review Your Soul Winning Effort. Our Bible verse is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. The word, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. Amen. Now the inspiration. One of the crucial practices in the school of success is self-examination. This is the practice of carefully examining one's behavior and beliefs to see whether they are in line with biblical expectations or not. As a Christian, self-examination will reveal to you whether you are growing spiritually or not, whether you are focusing on the weightier matters or not. One, one of the key areas of the Christian work which you must regularly review and have a thorough examination of is the area of soul winning. Because soul winning is every believer's mandate and we have been ordained for that task. Wisdom demands that you do a self-review of your soul winning effort. Your review and assessment must focus on the operations of the Holy Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit's power was given so you can be an effective witness for Christ. Your review and assessment must focus on the operations of the Holy Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit's power was given so you can be an effective witness for Christ. Is the Holy Spirit actively operating in your life? Check your compassion level towards the unsaved. Is your conviction strong about the gospel? All these are the words of the Holy Spirit. The reason why it's key you review his operations in your life. Review the number of souls you have won in the last week, month, a quarter of the year, an entire year. Are you still at the same level of souls won when you initially gave your life to Christ? You should be increasing the number now. What this means is you should be all out and regular in soul winning. Be involved and personally step out. Don't say it is for the pastors and leaders of the church. Have an honest assessment of your convictions about the gospel. If you've been a Christian who has been taught the word for years but cannot teach others nor preach to them, there is a problem. For though by this time, you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Hebrews 5 verse 12 to 13. Don't be a babe, grow up and start sharing the gospel with others. Friend, review and make a renewed commitment to the gospel today. The more committed you are, the more grace God will grant you for greater effectiveness. Now let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for choosing and ordaining me as a soul winner. More than ever, I am committed to this divine mandate. Therefore, let the Holy Spirit empower me 
on the harvest field for effectiveness in reaping the harvest of souls for the kingdom. Amen. Read the Bible in one year. For today, read Jeremiah chapters 14 to 16 and also read 1 Timothy chapter 5. Thank you.